Hello everybody and welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays, XCOM The Long War. I'm your host, Stealing 33, and without further ado, let's get started. So I was listening back to those uh, the other episodes I've recorded, and I noticed that I was incredibly loud and incredibly hot. So I've, uh, I've since turned down my microphone just a smidgen and a half. Um, that's what I was just doing. I'm sorry, I apologize about alt-tabbing out for a second there. Um... But uh, hopefully that should sound better. I apologize. I did not realize that it was so loud. It was set up from when we were recording Spook Factor 5, so it would pick up Antonio and Eric in the background. And uh, I never adjusted it back down for one person. So there you go. Uh, all right. But so we're going to go uh, recover this person from this exalt mission. Um, like most exalt missions, I prefer to take uh, robots over people because robots are expendable. People are not. Um most of my Gundams are damaged. We got Maxi. We have... Uh, burning. All the other Gundams are damaged or destroyed. So it looks like we're only going to be able to bring three, three with us today. But, so, we're going to bring... Uh, we're going to bring Gundam... Death Scythe. Gundam Death Scythe. And, um, probably Gundam Rose? Gundam Rose? Probably, yeah. Gundam... Gundam Rose. Alright, cool. Uh, I don't know if I remember... Did I build anything? Nope, didn't build anything. I think I'm currently in the process of building things for them, but... Uh, that's very possible that I'm not. Okay, we'll take a sniper. Uh, I want people who can like hold down the fort real well, so we're gonna take, and then we're gonna take a couple gunners. Uh, gunners do good damage, and um, I can equip them with LMGs, which are OP. And if like if I'm not moving anywhere, then like this this will be this is a good setup, I guess. Take that. Um, actually, that gunner's got terrible aim. Who's got good aim? I want people with good aim. Only the best aim to save our rookie, Haim Robin. Our old Spec Ops guy. You, sir, earned a promotion last time. But you're an assault. Uh, I can give you a... I can give you... A, uh, not that one. This one. A regular laser rifle. That'll be fine. Flash are good. Well, we're going to take one gunner with us, definitely. Because I do want to have somebody with an LMG set up. Um, it's just... It's very useful to sort of... Just plan out for like that. And Sniper Peters will be fine. And then the, the ships will make up the bulk of the defensive force. But uh, these three will make a good you know, specialized attack force of some kind. Having a med kit's a good idea. Uh, right, I think we're good to go. Uh, hopefully this doesn't go terribly. Um, my biggest concern with Exalt is that we're going to end up getting rocketed and grenaded to death. Uh, this map is freaking terrible. Um, the room you have to defend is surrounded on all sides by Exalt forces and there's no good cover. Um, I know where the room is. That's a good thing, but um, it's freaking terrible because this is the room we have to. Oh no, God, is it okay? This is the room we have to defend first. Um, our operatives here, and then this is the thing we have to defend second. The problem is that all the exalt guys spawn here and here. I think. Um, don't quote me on that, but I, I believe that that's the case. So we're going to go ahead and just rush on over there. I accidentally clicked on the dash space, which I would have rather moved a lot closer if I was going to dash, but whatever. What are you going to do? Um, Flynn Webb over here. Now, the LMG cannot move and shoot on the same turn. Uh, it can only... It can only... Oh, come on. I keep do It keeps doing that where, like, I go to click on a new operative, and then, like... It'll open a door instead, which normally wouldn't be a problem, but it's kind of a pain in the ass when you don't want to open a door yet, because then you might reveal the Oliums or the bad guys. It'd be bad. Um, so we're just going to roll over there. We're going to settle in to defensive positions, basically, and hope for the best. Um, works out normally. But then, then again, in my the only other playthrough where I've played where there's been exalt missions, um, I had nothing but mech troopers during this point in the game. Mech troopers and augmented guys. So I was like crushing everything that came in my way. Um, with rail guns and all manner of hoobah and bullshit. 
And she needs a laser pistol. Any covert operative from now on is getting a laser pistol. I think I have one building right now. If I'm not mistaken. It's a possibility. And we'll go ahead and send Gundam Rose in. Gundam Rose will scout out the area. Hello. How you guys doing? Welcome to uh, welcome to the party. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Go ahead and murder this guy. He didn't die. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, I know, alright? I'm working on it. Um, probably move in, and then we'll flashbang the four, all four of them. That's, that's definitely what we're gonna do. If I can manage it. Uh, oh, they're just barely, barely not in range to let it happen. So we'll go ahead and just flash. Well, the one in there is a sniper, and the other one's gonna die this turn, so I would actually rather flash these two, I guess. <laughs> this guy's gonna die. I'm gonna make sure he dies this turn. Um, I don't plan on him walking out of this alive. We'll put our sniper back here. Uh, yeah, that should give her shots on everybody. We'll put the shiv in side here. Gundam Death Scythe will probably get our first kill of the round, which is fitting. Come on, Death Scythe. Alright, cool. Death Scythe killed that guy. Giving us the advantage inside of the encoder room. Um, Haim Robin. Why don't you run and gun? We're going to pull out all the stops to make sure that they don't they don't get to make any progress. That's what's going to happen here. 36, 36, 51. 51, you're the winner. Alright, 5 damage is pretty good. Um, as long as we keep putting it down on them, everything should be fine. Uh, I probably should have had her hack the this relay thingy, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever. Should be fine. 40%. It's a good shot. Alright, that guy's dead. We're just going to keep killing him. Um... Which, I mean, sounds self-explanatory, but sometimes it isn't. This is a bad idea, too, because the grenade central right here. But I think that they only get our grenades, which means they only have our the shitty HE grenades. I don't think they get, like, the OP exult grenades from the vanilla game. That's, like, two snipers. That's shitty. Um, we'll have to move the shivs out there and deal with those guys. Miss. Yeah, that's right. Listen to my commands. <laughs> More exalt dropping in on the AO. I want, what does the word A what does the term AO mean? Like is that like is it like operating area? But that doesn't make sense because that'd be OA. Um Right? That'd be that'd be OA. I think that'd be OA. Fifty percent on both shots, just take them. Take one, doesn't matter. Oh, well, that's a miss. I think I hit the top of the shiv. Nope, smeared the wall with uh, with goo. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead with I'm gonna go with goo on this one. Let's kill this guy inside of the thing, please. Oh, come on! That was a 97% shot. You bastard. Um, why don't you come out? Johannes, why don't you come out here? You're useless anyway. You don't do good damage. So we're going to have you hack this encoder next turn. So let's go ahead and grab this. And let's try to kill... Let's try to kill this guy. Alright, four damage is pretty good. Uh, Shiv. Mr. Shiv, why don't you come in here? And then you should be able to murder that guy. No problem. 48 is pretty good, but we'll take the 46. We need to kill this guy. Oh my lordy Lou! Macy Lou Freebush, please. 421? No? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Not like I wanted you to kill that guy or anything. Let's put the other ship next to him against the wall and just, like, obliterate him. Alright, cool. Obliterated that guy. And we're just going to set up in here. Um, this is a pretty good setup. I think these snipers are going to have a hard time shooting our shivs. Especially if they keep doing stuff like that. But it looks like they're moving around the side of the building. Possibly towards our other sniper, which would be bad. In order to flank us. Alright, cool. 
Because I know the ships can't get into cover, but I think if you put them in places where they would have cover, I think they still get, like, some of the benefits of it. No, I guess not. That's fair, I guess. Uh, which Gundam is that? I think that's, I think that's Rose. Rose was the first one in there. Uh, that's bad. Getting, getting pretty banged up here. I think Exalt's gotten wise to my all... Oh, that's a smoke grenade. I think they've gotten wise to my all shiv all the time strategy. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's have you hack the relay. Then come back in here. Come back over here, rather. And why don't you overwatch with that pistol? Mr. Shiv, why don't you roll outside? Get a flanking shot on these two assholes. Shoot that guy. Alright, cool. He's dead. He's dead. I'm gonna shoot that guy in the back of the head. Through the chain link. Ah, oh, fuck you, chain link. Apparently, chain link can stop bullets. Who knew? Call of Duty did. That's a that's a joke. Um, so they sh they should not be able to work good next turn. Like they should all have to like reload, or like they won't be able to actually operate very well next turn. So we'll go ahead and try to murder as many of them as possible this turn. Um, even if it has like means like moving around riskily. Riskily. Risk, risky Lee, risky. Um, oh hi, extra exalt guys. Uh, shoot that guy. All right, cool. That guy's got shot. And then I didn't bring any grenades with me, I think. So we'll go ahead and shoot that guy. Yeah, I don't think I brought. I brought a uh, grenade with me, but it's on the wrong person. Like, I want to, like, run out and try to grenade those guys, but I should have put Haim Robin somewhere else. Uh, righty. Um, let's think about this. Let's put Webb here. Next turn, Webb will have a shot. Until then, he'll reload him, I guess. So they should all reload. So they got all confused, and they did they did stupid things. What? No, you're supposed to be confused. Oh well, the armor blocked it. <laughs> Not a big deal. Like I said, I think they got our bad our bad grenades rather than like the vanilla XCOM super grenades. So I mean, not too bad. Oh, that blew up, uh, that blew up Gundam Rose. Gundam Rose is dead, everyone. Alright, there's excellent guys moving in all around the place. We basically just need to, like, hold on to the night and let there be no shame. Your pistol shots are, uh, are commendable. Oh no, Gundam Rose is alive. I think you need to you need to move, lady. You need to move to here. That's which sucks because that means we like lost a turn worth of shots. But uh, she needed to live, and that was more important than getting a turn worth of shots. Uh, why don't we? And they won't be able to hit me anyway because they're snipers. Go ahead, and take that. Thirty-five is not bad. Okay, thirty-five is garbage apparently. Johannes. Why don't you... Can you not come inside anymore? Did that, like, destroy the doorway? Can you not... Is it not possible for you to... Why Why can't you go inside? Okie dokie. Uh, Johannes is in a bad way. So I guess we will come to here? That doorway must have just gotten, like, exploded or something. Or maybe, like, the fire is in the way. I'm not 100% sure what happened. Um, let's go ahead and we'll put Mr. Shiv over here. Put Gundam Rose over here. Alright. There we go. Reload. I really, I, 
I'm pissed I haven't built an auto loader yet. The auto loader gives your shivs lock and load. Um, super useful. Uh, probably one of the better things that you can give a shiv in the game because it basically makes them able to shoot four times instead of twice, which is broken because they're shivs. All right. Um, what are you gonna do? Just gonna move twice. All right. How about you? What are you gonna do? Hey. Ooh, excuse me. No. Okay, good. He missed. That guy sucks. I should have brought a rocketeer. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. But what are you gonna do? Oh, from downtown. It's Saturday night. All right, let's go ahead and try to murder this guy. Come on, critical strike. All right. I mean, that wasn't crit, but still murder. And I'm always big on the murder. Okay, please, please stop doing that. All right, why don't you roll out to like here and just point blank that guy with your auto cannon? Oh, that's that's why. Okay. Um, Gundam Maxi's in a bad place. There's lots of uh, exile guys there. Please, uh, please, please stop doing that. Please stop. Thank you. Kill that guy. Kill him. Okay. Gotta maxi murder that guy. Uh, we're... We're in a heap of trouble, basically, is what I'm getting at here. I did not realize a hole had opened up in the side of that wall. It's, uh... It's quite, it's quite dangerous. Uh, Haim. Haim, why don't you... Why don't you run and gun? To here. I don't need to get closer to kill this guy, but I want to move him so that way I can put the um, our operative into a better position. Like, for instance, way the fuck over here. So that way she can hack that encoder probably in the next two turns. There's an encoder up here. And I want her to be able to do something about that. Take the 65 on that guy. Alright, cool. We did some damage, which is good. I wish I had double tap, the one that like makes it so that you can shoot people twice with your snipers. It's like the best ability in the game. It's, I think it's like the Colonel one from Vanilla XCOM. Oh, that guy's confused. Oh, he's getting into the encoder room. Ro Gunnam Rose is going to have to go deal with that. Oh, well, okay. That took out some damage. Here comes another grenade. <laughs> there goes one damage. All right, there's a there's the enemy sniper guy. Okay. Another grenade, really? Jeez, they really don't like my robots. I one didn't even do any damage. <laughs> oh fuck! All right, that guy's on the roof. Some of these guys are getting into some really shitty positions. Like for us, not for themselves. They're, they're in great positions for themselves. Um, Johannes. I want you to run over here. This is what I need you to do, Johannes. Alright, cool. And then, Rose, why don't you come back? Because I think there's people for you to kill over here. 70% shot. Come on. Ah! Oh, these are huge misses! Alright, our sniper is trapped. Um, surrounded on all sides by the enemy. Um, you need to kill that guy somehow. You can't move and shoot on the same turn. So you know what we're going to do is we're going to put... We're going to back Maxi up. Because <laughs> that's a dangerous place to be. Oh, please don't kill him. Oh, okay, thank God. Alright, we're going to back Maxi up. And then we're going to attempt to murder this exalt guy with Maxi. Right, cool, that guy's dead. Which leaves LMG man free to kind of try to kill this guy. Oh, but that's a huge miss. Alright, so that leaves Sniper Lady 
has to do something here. Alright, come on, 35. Just put the sniper rifle into his head. Oh, no. Okay. It's getting, uh... It's getting dicey. Um... We need to deal with this guy somehow. Um... So if I come here, that sniper guy shouldn't have a shot. Okay, which is good, because now we can just try to sh shoot him. Okay, five damage is not bad. He's going to have to move, which will be good. Maxi, no! Maxi, no! Damn it! Snipers can't move and shoot on the same turn. Okay, we guys gotta gotta think our way out of this. That guy's that guy's got snapshot apparently. That's a big miss. Snapshot makes snipers it garbage. Like being able to move and shoot on the same turn sounds like a great idea, but then it's like why bother doing that when you can just make it so you never have to move? Like I just don't. The logic on some of this stuff doesn't make any sense. Hack that. Shoot that man. Alright, you dealt two damage. It's actually garbage. Got him, Rose. Kill that guy. Por favor. Damn it! Alright. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're still good. We're, we're in a bit of trouble, but we're still good. Can you shoot that guy? Sniper fight? Sniper fight! Alright, cool. Um, one of you two has a grenade. Uh, I remember that much. I think it's this guy. Yeah, that guy's got a grenade. So we're gonna go ahead and nuke those two. I don't think Gunnam Rose should take any damage. It did not. Um, why don't you come here? Uh, right, 81's not bad. That guy didn't even bother getting into cover. He's dead. Alright. We're doing alright so far. We've only lost... Um, I think we've lost two shivs so far. Which, which sucks, but... Um, Whew, excuse me. There are losses we can live with. Um, certainly losses we can live with. Uh, there's just so many exalt guys in this room right now that like I just I'm trying to think about what what we're actually gonna do here. Like, what's our plan of action? Because I want to use the shivs as much as possible. Oh, but they keep running out of ammo so quickly. And you're out of ammo. Oh, you're out of ammo too. Okay. Um. I want to get you into cover. Why don't you come here? Since the wall got blown up, you can come over here. You reload. You take out that guy. Oh my god! LMG dude! Real guy? Real talk here. That, did, that just happened. If she had a laser pistol, she'd be way more useful, but she doesn't, so she's useless. Ah, damn it. It's all going up. It's all going downhill. Got a couple turns here that needed to go in different, different ways than they did, and they didn't. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. That's right, you just stand there. You just stand there looking stupid. Okay. Alright, every shot from these snipers is, like, causing me to have a small heart attack. Alright, you... Murder that guy. Alright, cool. You... You know, why don't you... Why don't you get out of there? Why don't you... Why don't you come... Come to here. <laughs> Johanna... Peters, you uh, you uh, you earned a coffee break after this. Tell you what. All right, cool. Seven damage, critical strikes, not bad. Would have been better if he was dead, but whatever. We got him anyway. Um, the area is secured now. Um, I still don't trust. Well, we'll go ahead and put Molina Johannes in here. Our operative. Alright, I think we've got the room on lockdown, finally. <laughs> um, there's two snipers behind us, but they're snipers, and I'm not 
particularly worried about them, to be completely honest. Alright, that guy missed terribly. Uh, the rest of the Exalt guys should come, try to come through this area, but because of all those grenades they threw, they're pretty boned. Uh, shoot that guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then... Does anybody have a shot that can actually make the shot? 51? It's not bad. That's a miss. Whatever. That shit happens. I wish that guy... Um, I wish uh, he was infantry. Hayim. I wish Hayim was infantry. But that's okay. We'll move Flynn Webb here. Flynn will reload. Can you make a shot? Can you make any plays here? 29%'s not too bad. Alright, no, that's terrible. And that's that's after I got like the pistol upgrades and stuff. Like I've got like my pistols I think I have mag rounds, which I think give like increase the range that the pistols are effective at. Don't don't quote me on that though. I don't remember what mag pistols did. I think that's a kill. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I like watching the little bullet come out. It's great. It makes me feel good. Alright, why don't you reload? Actually, yeah, Rose, why don't you come here? Roll over that guy's body. And then reload. I think that's important. You reload. You have a shot. 35%'s not too shabby. Nope. I was miss. And you hunker down. <laughs> As you're the only one who can actually be shot right now. That guy's gonna have to come in. Yeah. This is the problem with the Exalt. The Exalt guys really want to get to the thing because it's their objective, but they put themselves in a lot of danger in order to make that kind of stuff happen. So they do stuff like this where they don't go into cover, and then I mow them down with my machine gun. Um, and then I reload everybody who needs to be reloaded and overwatch everybody that can be overwatched. <laughs> Alright, cool. Because now there should be, like, another dude. Oh, I'm going to get the encoder, guys. Don't worry, I got this. Oh no, they were planned for my attack pattern! <laughs> yeah, the Exalt guys are not the brightest... the brightest tools. This mission just takes a hundred years, because, like, after you get the place on lockdown, um, you really start running into... Um, let's try to take out the sniper, actually. Nope. Alright, fine. Go ahead and take out that guy. Alright, that was bad. Uh, Gundam Rose, why don't you roll up? Roll up on top of your dead brother. Who will be getting repaired, trust me. Don't worry, everybody. I, uh, I always repair the shivs. Alright, that guy's dead. Alright! And then you overwatch. And you... Overwatch. Because why not? Alright. Okay, let's uh, we'll just watch. This guy's gonna run up and join his friends in the grave. I mean, that's like that's basically what's happening here is we're just gonna make a corpse pile. Um, which you know, I'm about the AI on the Exalt's pretty dumb, all things considered. And we'll just uh, Overwatch across the board. Here comes more Exalt guys. Yeah, with Johannes, you suck. I hate you. I wish I could give them sawed-off shotguns instead. Um, that would make them at least able to do damage. It would make, it would reduce their range, but the range on the pistols already sucked butt anyway. So I mean, take them out. <laughs> Just all right. I lost two shivs. It's not a big deal. Um, I've lost worse during missions. You guys have seen me lose worse during missions. Um, but I've been fine. Yeah, the encoder missions are pretty easy. Uh, all things considered. The hardest part is just getting to the encoder. Because once you get, like, if you don't get to the encoder, then you really, you run into some trouble. Um, I don't want you to be either of these things, so we're going to re-roll you. I mean, a sniper's good. Snipers have a good aim, and they can get um, Gunslinger really easily. I can get him his Gunslinger and Lone Wolf, which is good for the Operative, because the Operative ends up alone a lot of the time. Uh, so what did we learn about Exalt there? Let's find out. Covert Operations. Uh, we found out that it's not in India. It's not in India, and it's not in Australia. We'll do an Intel scan. 
We found an exalt cell in Egypt, so we'll go ahead and send a thingy there. Uh, let's send somebody who has an ability that would actually be remotely useful. Uh, we'll send a rookie. Rookie with a... Does he, do I have... A, rookie with a machine pistol. Um... So I'm um, more powerful than the pistol, but minus 10 accuracy penalty when drawn. Okay, so like the turn you pull it out, you lose accuracy, but it's better? I don't know. They're both terrible, so whatever. Um, we'll give you ceramic plating like a gift to all the people, and we'll give you we'll give you a flashbang grenade like a gift to all the people, and we'll send you on the operation. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Um, Egypt, there's a couple places that have, like, that have no panic. Uh, most of them are in Africa, which I just realized. <laughs> um, everywhere that isn't Mexico seems to be doing fine. But Mexico's not doing fine because the satellite got shut down. Shot down. Um, which is bad. We need to build a new, we need to build more satellites. We also need to build some of these things. Um... I mean, I can't build alloy ships, can I? I can't. I can build alloy ships. Maybe next time we get the opportunity, we'll try to do that. Um, but with that, thank you all for watching. Ooh, this, that, that man autopsy is almost done. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh that's still, that, that was disorienting. I'm real sorry. I didn't know that I could, like, move the globe around like that. <laughs> uh, next one's in Egypt. Um, so I guess we'll have to wait. The thin man autopsy is almost done. So is our laser pistol, actually. <laughs> God damn it. So close. And the phalanx armor, which is important as well. Arc throwers arc throw and alien containment are also almost done. We're almost we're getting there. We're there, we're crawling along. It's just gonna it's gonna take a little bit. So thank you all for watching. If you saw, let me know. If you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe to the Gamer Crusaders channel for more videos. And click the annotation up in the upper right corner of the screen. It should be like right here ish. Um, a little shield with cross swords. Uh, that'll bring you right to our channel. Just click the subscribe button. It should be totally fine. So thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! -ya.